All right, two, two rods cover a big chunk of my surf casting, and they're nothing fancy. Um, this is a nine footer. If you've seen my videos on YouTube, you're going to see me using this rod for everything, um, all the way up to rigged eels, live eels. I've caught a couple of dozen, at least a couple of dozen 40 pound fish on this rod, uh, 40 pounds and better. And this is a 10 foot Lamaglass GSB 121L, so that's a 10 foot blank. I cut one foot from the butt, make a nine footer out of it. Nothing fancy here. This is a pretty inexpensive four guide setup. Uh, the Alkanite guides are really nice. If I made one today, I would make it with Alkanites, but these are Fuji uh, BS VLGs. I wrapped this myself. You see there's no diamond wrap. There's electrical tape. The handle is cork tape, but I've, I've worn through all the cork tape, so I put electrical tape over that. And, uh, and that's it. And, and this thing is wonderful for everything from about three quarters of an ounce, which is what this is, uh, up to about three ounces. I don't want to go too much more than that, although the rigged eels that I use are probably a little heavier than that. And this is just one of my favorite rods. And um, you know, I use it for just about everything unless it gets rough, and then I'll go to something else. Uh, for the open beach, this is a, a Lama Glass GSB 1321M, a very popular blank. Um, I built this one with the new guy concepts. And, you know, if you're old school and you look at this business over here where you've got, you know, five little boat guides, you know, you would think this is insane. And, you know, even starting off with a number 40 guide so close to a big Pen 706, uh, you would think this doesn't work, but I test casted this against, you know, other accepted setups. I spent hours on the beach, and this casts extremely well. It's very light, um, and it's actually a really nice plugging rod. Now, the older GSB 132 1Ms are definitely a lot uh, heavier, a lot more stopping power. And I've got an old one from 1990 that I use in the inlet for bucktailing, and it's quite a bit different than this one. And if you look at rod specs from years ago, because I have an old catalog, you'll see the rod specs have changed. But uh, yeah, this rod, and if it's rough, I'll go to this one, and that really covers me well on the open beach. I might step down if it was really calm and the fish were smaller. I might step down to something a little bit smaller. Uh, sometimes I'll use like a um, seven and a half foot pen regiment with a, a little pen four, uh, 440 uh, SSV on there, 4400 rather. Um, that's a nice little combination. But for the most part, this rod, that rod, that's covered. Uh, all right, so I've got a torque on here. I mean, the, I just don't want to deal with bales. It's really great if the reels are waterproof. Um, you know, so even the Pen SSVs are good for that. So either the Torque Van Stall 200 I use on this, but um, it's when it gets cold, my Van Stall's a little bit stiff, so I I much rather have the Torque on there. Um, and then you look at this thing. This thing looks like the biggest piece of crap going, and it's I don't even know how old this thing is. It's, I'm sure it's 30 years old. Uh, yeah, it's drilled to keep the sand flushing through there. I can't imagine how many fish that reel's caught. But you know what? It holds up. It does the job. Very dependable. I don't know. What more do you want?